run import auto invoice concurrent program and review its output so for this uh, I'm to go back to Oracle fusion cloud and basically the auto invoice concurrent program is the one that is responsible for importing the data from auto management and dumping it into auto invoice interface tables and then moving from auto invoice interface tables into AR or receivables tables and creating the invoice so let's see it in action all right so I'm gonna exit from these cost accounting and here I'm gonna go to schedule processes and let's see if there is an auto invoice program out there I'm gonna hit schedule new process and I'm gonna write okay you see the import auto invoice uh, concurrent program is there so hit the OK button and then again hit the OK button there will be a set of parameters that you have to give so first thing is business unit so in our case it's a US1 business unit here so select that one and then transaction source so in our case it's a distributed order management so select that one default date is today's date transaction type you can select but I'm gonna leave it okay I'm gonna leave the other information as it is and you see you have the way to give the sales order number as well but again I'm gonna leave it and I will simply submit it and hit the OK button so that was the request ID and it's gonna spawn a couple of programs and it'll take around five to seven minutes to complete and hopefully we'll see in the output the invoices that's been imported and generated in receivables so as you could see two child programs have been spawned one is notify feeder system of uh, receivable transaction and second is import auto invoice execution report and all of them have been successfully completed so we'll look at this import auto invoice execution report output and you see here you've got the output right here and it's in PDF format and you see if you scroll down you will see that the selected lines are 11 rejected 11 and in terms of salesperson okay so all of them are rejected and you have to see why they have been rejected so I'm gonna download this report like this let's open the report output and here it also shows us the error so it's unable to retrieve the remit to address Okay. So this is for something else. I'm going to come down and Okay, this is for some other customers. So our customer is the first one and you see um, the first two lines have got this uh, error unable to retrieve remit to address so we have got to fix this issue.
all right so i could manage to fix the issue so i realized that the build to address i gave at the order level was uh, for united kingdom and uh, i've gone to remit to address and there for united kingdom i gave the default country and default state and then reran the auto invoice program and it worked as you could see the selected transactions are four and successfully processed are four now I'm going to quickly go back and show you you see this program is completed uh, successfully but I'm going to quickly show you the fix so what I have done was I have gone to setup and maintenance and then I've gone to this financials and within financials I've searched for remit to address and then I've gone to manage remit to address and there I have searched for country United Kingdom okay so you see this uh, address has been set up for a uh, common set and this value was already existing United Kingdom default and postal code from 0 to this uh, ZZ, 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 ZZ. But I have created this particular record wherein the country I have given the default value and state as default. Okay. And then I saved the record and I ran the auto invoice program and I did not get error in fetching the remit to address now and it worked successfully. And that's what is something I have shown you over here in my processes. If I go so this is what worked so basically it took me a while to understand I know the solution but um, it took me a while to fix it because I was uh, hope I was uh, thinking that the address in question was for country United States but then I have uh, it wasn't working but then I've gone back to order and at the order line level I have given the bill to address as United Kingdom that's where I realized that the remit to address for UK has to be fixed. So I want to quickly show you the order as well if you like. See if we go to order management. There I've given the order. And then at the order level, I'll look at the fulfillment view. And you see that was the line. You see under the billing details, I've given the bill to address as something of the United Kingdom. So that's where, you know, the issue was coming from. So when I defined the remit to address for UK, it worked. And I could manage to see the invoices being generated from the auto invoice content program. Mm -hmm.